Hi everybody, I'm Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is a, a beautiful review on a book and it is called The Healthy Witch where you can see I've been busy studying it and I'm just lifting up the tip of the veil because this is what I'll be working with in the autumn and uh, hopefully with Wendy uh, Wendy has moved to Belgium so I hope um, she is safe and well I, um, I've seen a notice on Facebook she is but I can't wait to get started with this book now the healthy witch uh, you, if you have followed us in uh, the last season in our series we discussed several things the broom, the witch's outfit, the hat um, healing and uh, what is chanting and how does Wendy do the meditation and I did my meditation um, why uh, also how witches um, uh, why they are called witches uh, uh, what is the difference between a witch and uh, a herbalist or a homeopathist but if you would like to know that then follow the series on YouTube you can see the series under Wen uh, Wendy the Dutch witch so this is uh, what we are going to handle and I'm just going to do a review on the book the book is The Healthy Witch The Workbook for Optimal Health by T.J. Perkins and I will leave the IBSN number below now when you open it up it's really uh, luxuriously lined and you get drawings in the book and I'll be showing them I'll be flipping backwards and forwards with the book I just want to keep it a little bit longer and new so I won't fold it out and then you get the introduction etc etc it's by Red Feather that is um, Shifa and Red Feather is a daughter or a mother uh, also a daughter or on other uh, side of the company from um, Shifa's publishers and they do uh, their presentation is phenomenal even in the decks that I have if you follow me then you know um, my reviews on the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Shadowlands and the White Witch and the Witch's Oracle and now we're doing I'm doing books as well this is about the author it is TJ Perkins is not a licensed physician nor is she nutrition expert she has been practicing Wicca for 13 years and has achieved the status of a second degree um, and journey woman all findings are from trial and error years of being in pain and finding the answers in a holistic way she has sought out many professional and professionals and went through the years of experience trying new techniques and trusting in a goddess finally with pain diminishing um, and digestive symptoms improving the truth has been revealed and TJ now shares all that she's learned with you still doesn't take everything for granted in the field guide do your own re research and ask questions and experiment so this is actually a fantastic book because you um, it is journaling uh, it's like a day book it's like a witch's book a diary whatever you want to call it you are going to start jo uh, journeying uh, on your own journey with the help of this book and the suggestions of the author but I love also the simplicity of the pictures and the contents there's five chapters and I'll flip through the five chapters very quickly on the back of the book you have also got an inscription as within and so without is healthy witch but getting there takes a right magical work in other words you have to work at it yourself 
for yourself. You will also, I think, learn to understand what loving yourself and standing in your strength will be or mean. This holistic witch, witchy workbook combines medical knowledge with magical healing to put you where you need to be, to get the most out of your life. Learn to personalize your healing needs by fusing skills in magic and nutrition, conducting rituals and employing specialized spells. Using the pantogram model, take a healing journey through each organ in your body, allowing you to gain optimal health via signs, suggestions and practical tips. Examine each element and discover how your organs interact and affect your medical energy flow. The tools here will guide you to become a naturally healthy witch, enabling you to work with the goddess from a place of sacred well-being. A healthy witch is a successful witch. And it's like I said, it is beautiful because I can relate to that because people have called me a witch, but I'm not a witch. I'm a Reiki master. I'm a bit of everything. So, yes, I most probably come across as a witch. Now, in chapter one, there is uh, chapter one, mind, body, health and the path. Okay, then in chapter two, the elements as they pertain to you how you feel on them and what's matter with you, the inner magical method like meditation, incarnations, etc, etc, menopause, there's a whole chapter on menopause, chapter 5 is seasons of the witch, that's a little bit of the car uh, calendar which I, th I really enjoy because I've been seeking for that and asking to about the seasons and then you've got a conclusion references to other books that's uh, been used within to get the information and herbal references so I'm going to flip through and I hope Wendy is also watching this video so if you are going to, if, when we are going to start this series I am doing this not only as a review uh, about the book but also giving you a head start please order it now and then you've got your own book and it's lovely okay so there you are that's the mind and body and health uh, doc and I here you are it starts working with me again an apple a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> and the witch's cauldron okay now we're going I'm just going to flip through in the first chapter you it, it goes into uh, how she uh, why she started this research and what she's done like yoga, tai chi, exercises and then you've got a drawing of St. John's uh, herb plant and then you get um, like a day book and it, you start off with the head, the neck, the shoulders etc etc I don't know whether you can see it arms, hands and this is actually um, your day book, your diary that you put all your symptoms, your complaints, your pains, your ailments and you so you've got a list so you can go back and see from time to time I suppose whether everything is um, improving or changing with working with the book. Then we have the three uh, uh, roads or toads of the witch I think the 13 rules of the witch but I'm not going to disclose that and then it goes into explaining what to do now why did I list this well look at number 5 10 11 and 12 this field guide will help you achieve many of these goals as for the rest that is up to you so I'm not going to disclose that. I'm like I said, I'm only lifting up the tip of the veil. Then we have chapter two. Then we go into chapter two, and we are seeing here a lady or an elf, whatever you want to call it, with a candle, which witches use transformation, 
and what else has she got in her hand? A butterfly. There you go. So hopefully this book will help you to transform. Then we go into chapter 2, the elements of uh, as they pertain to you elements and that's the magical oh, also magical associations advices about food notes and a plan of action first of all the elements we've got spirit okay and then it goes into um, uh, what the what where the what the spirit is and where it's related to what part of the body and the aches and pains and then you've got a picture of lavendel then you how do I know if my organ is happy that's what the, and then you get questions Um, and also parts of the body and then you get also what causes the organ failure okay so it gives you a little bit of knowledge about the organs then the medical association with the uh, herbs the organ and foods like that then how can I fix my organ the issues and then it's a adv diet advice nutrition advice and you've got the witch's wheel and you've also got the seasons of the wi seasons of the witch here like summer winter and to which sign they are the side of the wheel they are associated with like I said I want to keep some of this new for the non witches and then you get the plan of action now I would suggest get another book or get a jotter so that you can keep this book fresh and new unless you really want to just write in the book but once I start writing I start writing lots because I also write things that I want to let go okay and then we've got the earth element with the chives and again the same thing questions advices and the magical associations to that part and then we have the fern how to fix my organ and then we go on to Nobody, body, uh, nobody knows your body like you. Take a moment now to list below some troubled traits of boom, 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 boom that you've noticed within yourself. So you can make notes again that you've noticed about a specific organ mentioned in the book. Then we've got water. And again, and the magical associations advices how can you fix it remember she's not a doctor and neither are we but you're halfway there if not three quarters if you start working on it and it's always very handy to make notes because you can always take it to your doctor if you are in such a situation that you don't feel well now this is air and that's chamomile magical associations and this book has roughly let's have a look 127 pages so that was the plan of action now we get fire and yes you would expect the cauldron with the fire okay I think it's a sweet book. I was so excited when I got it. I've got another book to go with it. Again, the medical associations. Of 
the plan of action and look at this you can or you, you can use the ribbon which is really pretty to where you have left off when you have to do homework or when you want to note something and then we go to the summary and here you see a little bit of meditation and the yoga sitting sitting yoga si position I don't sit like that but never mind then this is the inner magical method right that's chapter 3 the inner ma um, magical method I love the pestle and thaw and then you get healing spells so you get spells and one of them is a mathical, magical bath and we'll, I'll go, we'll go deeper into this when I'm working with Wendy and then we've got a magical shower the healing charm bag healing spells for an organ then we've got magical food magical tea magical dessert healing spells for the kidney and urinary that's our uh, magical bath and then we've got the witch's glass chant that's one of the spells and then we've got healing spells for uh, uh, other things working with air and um, I'll just show you this lungs of mother so lungs breathing in the air and mother is mother earth and then we've got more healing spells and then we've got the chakra cleansing Then we've also got the burning magic. I'm not going to disclose because it's Wendy hasn't seen the book yet either. Um, and then we go into menopause as well. She goes into menopause, so we'll be treating that chapter as well. And uh, you get a story and a diet and a few references then we have the seasons of the witch and I really like that I'll be more interested in that I know some of them not all of them like uh, Ballantine 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 some people call it Ballantine or Yule Yule is winter I think we'll find out I'm not going into it then we have the healing ritual for you for a solo practitioner like we we discussed Wendy and I there are different witches okay then you can um, you have an invocation and you have um, uh, when is it appropriate uh, here it says cakes and wine when it fees appropriate slow down and then end and chant sorry that was for the next page but there's also cakes and wine dismiss the quarters thank spirit ground and release open the circle and that's part of a spell okay and then we've got the embolic that's also a time in the calendar the healing ritual for the embolic 
for the social uh, solo practitioner and this is also associated with a certain organ then we've got Ostera okay Ostera Spring Equinox <coughs> Ritual for Ostera for the so uh, solo practitioner I hope this really will motivate you to come and watch our series and then Bellatine I always call it Bellantine but it's wrong I do do things wrong and then we have um, the uh, healing ritual for Bellantine for a social uh, solo um, um, witch or practitioner it really goes into detail how to set up the um, ritual and what you have to say then we have the litha summer solace litha perhaps I might even become a witch I don't know I just see myself as a general healer <laughs> channeler then we go into the um, ritual for the litha for the solo practitioner then we have the lamas I don't know what that means but Wendy will most probably know what lamas is that's all it already says here so and then we've got the healing of the lamas and it also gives you the um, organ and then we've got the Marbon Fall Aquinox Marbon Fall Equinox and Wendy will be able to tell us more about that and then we've got the healing for the ritual for the Maybon for solo practitioner and this is also for the um, lung and large intestine and that's the element air so every healing is associated with the calendar thing uh, time of the uh, like all the rituals they have the title of a calendar date specific one and they do healings with that and it's also with autumn spring you know that this one is air and that's autumn then we have the shaman charmaine she's called it Charmaine that's the sign oh, hang on a minute yeah I want to keep I love my books if I get into a book that's it then you've got the healing of the Charmaine and it's hard back so it it won't tatter very quickly if you do it gently the broom the witch's broom I wonder whether Wendy has finished her uh, stick she was going to make a witch's wand and a witch's stick there's a lot of things going to happen in the autumn oh I'm so excited conclusion and then we've got references of the books to read advice and the website so you can always go and go to her website and then we have the herbal references 
and you've got one, two, three, four pages. Four pages, and then we have the author of the note, note of the author again, and that's what Miss Perkins looks like. And I'll read that when the time is right together with Wendy. So I hope you've enjoyed the review of this book and I will put it out in Dutch so I hope you will join us and um, yes take care and uh, stay well and be blessed and be safe. Ciao ciao. Please like and share.